Like all students, people of color in academia may experience many joys and successes and may also experience many setbacks and challenges. Um, we're going to think specifically about the types of challenges and, um, and joys that people of color may experience related to academic writing for this moment. Um, in that regard, many um, people of color have ex uh, express that there are levels of discrimination that they experience with their writing, certainly um, some insecurities and levels of imposter syndrome. And all of those seem to be related to other people's presumptions about the writing skills of people of color and people who come from underrepresented communities. So for example, if you are a person of color, if you um, are a non-native English speaker, or you come from a community who, um, who uses a specific dialect of English that may or may not be standard, you may have heard from instructors and colleagues that your English is not um, academic enough. Even if it is academic enough, they have made presumptions that it may not be. Um, you may be perceived as underprepared because you come from a school in an underrepresented community and all of those types of comments and assumptions about your identity and your ability impact your, um, your ability and your motivation to write. And so often we experience writer's block, hesitancy to share our writing, and um, imposter syndrome, a real belief that what we write is never going to be good enough. So it's really important that we have an awareness of these types of issues and an understanding that um, those are assumptions that are made on um, unfounded beliefs, right? That there is no guarantee that it is not a fact that your writing skills are less than simply because you are a person of color or you come from an underrepresented community or an underrepresented background. And it's important that you um, move forward in your academic career and share your writing and work to develop your skills just as any and all other academic writers. It's also important to recognize the strengths that you do bring to your academic writing because you are a person of color and you come from a community that already has a rich background in knowledge keeping and knowledge sharing. And it can be important for you to think about those traditions. What are the ways that your family members, your community members um, think about, talk about, hold and share knowledge with one another? Are those oral traditions? Are those written traditions? How is information um, retained? How is it shared? What are the research methodologies? Um, how is data explored, examined, and analyzed? And embrace those and think about how and if you want to carry that into your academic writing processes at the university. It's, um, it's very common for us to move into the university system thinking about what we need to do in order to adapt to the university, rather than thinking about the strengths that we bring to the university to help the university grow. And as people of color, we do bring strengths, and those include our writing, thinking, research skills. And when we can start to embrace that and start to really think about those skills as valid academic qualities, um, then we're beginning to empower ourselves and we can begin to move forward. And we can begin to find ways that, that the institutional skills and our skills intersect. And we begin to make conscious decisions about what we want to improve, what we want to grow and how. So yes, you may, need to develop your academic writing skills in order to grow in your academic discipline. Most of us do, regardless of our backgrounds, because this is new to us. You've never been an anthropologist before. You've never been a biologist before. Um, but you also are bringing a whole wealth of skills and knowledge to this experience. And that is something for you to embrace.